Ah, privacy. Ladies and gentlemen, privacy is a big one. Everyone's got a right to have their personal data private. You don't want the whole world knowing what you're doing all the time. But we're going to look at now the moral and then legal issues of privacy. So let's imagine that there's a company. This company agrees to sell to another company your personal data and information. Let's imagine that this company they sold it to was a Windows company. What they will do is they'll cold call you. Hello, Mr. Levin. Hello. We're under the impression that you're in need of new Windows. No, I'm not. Would you be interested in buying new Windows? No. Okay, bye. Or you might get, Hello, Mr. Levin, we've heard that you've had an accident in the last four months. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll start pretending that I did, and then I leave them on, then I say, actually, I didn't. Oh, I'm a naughty guy. But anyway, by them selling your data to other companies so that they can call, call, call you, that is not illegal, but it's morally bad. So, another more issue of privacy is, let's imagine that I'm working for a company, and they are monitoring, watching what I'm doing on my computer. They're monitoring my emails or reading my emails. But also monitoring my internet usage, just in case I'm misusing the internet. Also, they would say. That is morally not good. It's against my privacy rights. But it is not illegal. So I keep saying that. It is not illegal. However, let's have a look at how organisations can break the law. Number one is actually by selling your personal data to a company without your permission. Number two, it's not informing the Information Commissioner's Office. So these are the dudes who are in charge of data in the world that you are, as a company, processing personal information. So whenever you're processing personal information, like imagine you've got an online store. If you don't tell them that you are processing this information, these dudes, VICO, you're breaking the law.